Got here the head of a two port motorised valve. Just want to do a, a simple demonstration on now to test whether or not it's serviceable. I'm going to test whether or not the motorised valve is in good condition and I'm also going to check that the micro switch inside is working as it should do. We would normally as an electrician most of the stuff we use is with this low resistance ohm meter. Um, the problem we've got is that the motorised valve, the synchronous motor, has got such a high resistance that this won't read low enough to check it. So we'll put that to one side and that's where we need to, to get ourselves a multimeter. Multimeter will read right down into K ohms, which is what this needs to be really. Okay? And it's the sort of thing that once you've measured the resistance of a synchronous valve once, you'd be able to do it several times afterwards and remember the value um, and you'd know that it was, it, the valve was actually okay. So first of all, the motorised valve's got five cores, we know that. The cores that drive the motor are the brown and the blue. The orange and the grey are a micro, a micro switch inside so that once the motor opens, it closes a micro switch which may then start the pump running. But it can be used for several different things. First of all then we'll check to see whether or not the motor itself is in good condition. So set it to ohms, it's on auto function anyway so I won't need to worry about the range of ohms. Connect between the brown and the blue and we can see that we've got a value of about 2.3 K ohms. Okay, so that would tell me that that motor is perfectly functional. The next check we would need to do would be to check to see whether or not this micro switch inside here functions when the valve opens. Now, the valve has got a lever, okay, and it's also got a catch here that you can see that we can lever the valve open, put it on the catch, let it settle, and that would open the motorised valve itself. The reason that's there is because when you're filling the system up, you obviously want all the air out, so you would just open all the valves, put it on that catch. But as you can see, it's not operating the micro switch. So it could be that even though the port is open, the micro switch isn't closed and the pump won't run. So never think that just because you've moved it across and lodged it in the open position, the motorised valve is going to close the, the micro switch which will start the pump and the boiler running. So first of all then, we'll just get that out of the way so that we can see what we're doing. We need to connect our multimeter to the grey and the orange. And then with a screwdriver, just push the micro switch contact down and we should get a reading. So you can see now by the reading on the micro switch we've actually got a, a closed circuit. There we go. And when I let it go you can see that it goes open circuit again. Just a nice simple process but it will actually tell you whether or not the micro, micro switch is serviceable, whether or not the, the motorised valve is serviceable. Sometimes the micro switches stick and they just want freeing up. Lots of different little things that you need to do, but if you can just learn the basics of this sort of stuff, it makes life so much easier.